Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> what? Nothing's frozen. I'm right here. No, the, the, the timer is a little janky, but it worked. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Hopefully, you guys see me and hear me and all that jazz. Uh, I think it's working. I would certainly hope it's working. Volume is good. Everything's good. Cool, cool, cool. I think we just jump right into it, right? We got three boxes we're doing today. <laughs> so I did take time to go through and organize all my stuff for my first box, all my starter decks, etc. Yeah, I hope it's a smaller delay. I selected literally the fastest delay option, so there should be no delay, or at least very, very very minor delay so I already know I don't have a Pantera in this box and I'll explain how I know that in a uh, a future video probably tomorrow so there's Pantera and we got packs 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 hey Maple Lizard welcome to the stream literally just started so many packs <laughs> it's so many packs I have never opened up this many packs at once. I did not open the box. So I'll go over this in a video tomorrow, but with the box, when it's closed, and this is really important for like, if you're trying to buy boxes from secondary sellers. Also, this box got dented because my FedEx guy dropped it. When the box is closed and sealed, you can push down this tab and peek inside the box just barely. And you'll be able to see if you have a seller Pantera in there without breaking the plastic. Which is not good design. It's already fixed for first edition. But be aware if you're buying boxes from a secondary party, they can check their box before they open the plastic and send it to you. So I wouldn't be buying boxes for a Pantera. I'm taking out all the packs because it's just... I like to see how many packs I have left. Last time when I left in the box, I couldn't tell how many packs I had left. So... We're gonna do that so I can actually see how many packs I have left. And uh, I guess we just start opening, right? <laughs> First pack. I've actually got the trick down to open these packs so I'm not struggling today. Luggle, Typhlant, Smoltuga, Retaqua, Adpuff. Cinder. I actually only got one cinder from my entire last box, so I do need cinders. Flowby, foamy. I only got one foam. No, I got two foamies, I think. And Tectorus. Zappy boy. I would love to get two stellars. That's probably not happening. We'll start my pile over there. If I get another stellar, I will freak out. Thanks, oh. It's him. Oh, it's him. Took me a second to read that. Hello, and uh, thanks for the luck. I don't get luck normally. I've wasted it all on my Stellar Hydrake already. Necrop, Urscout, Urzmog, Urseer, Ignectar, Trident, Tsunami, Thunderbolts, Glidesdale. We're not ripping this. I have already ripped a Glidesdale. We don't need to rip Glidesdales today. I checked all my boxes for Pent because I probably am just going to open them all. But we'll see how many I actually open. Again, I'll talk about it more in a video probably tomorrow about just the packing and quality and stuff like that. You do not get all the sellers pulled, Helen. You can appreciate them with everybody else just from closer. Drops, Golden Apple, Charn's Oval, Zephrog. I've seen Zephrogs, so I only got one. Galaxy, Boombat, Aphros. Don't really need the Aphros, but I've only gotten one hollow so far for the Aphros. I only have one of my lights on. Hold on. Bam. Little bright. There we go. <laughs> now we can see it shine. There we go. Aphros is like one of my favorite cards. Just in general, how it looks. I did see the God Pack. It would be insane if I pulled the God Pack, but I'm probably not going to pull a God Pack. <laughs> Let's be real. 
the odds are so small. First year, so probably Nectar, yep. And Warmite. Paracid. Sluggle. Necklace. I need necklaces. I don't really need shields. Scythe. Hey, there's my first Empherix. I do need three of these guys. Oh, that's such a pretty card. Such a pretty card. Back to back hollows. That is right. How many hollows am I getting today? Probably 50. So what I really, really want to pull today are three Leonites, three Empherix, three Rush in the Ashes, three Elto the Stars, and three Stratomoths. Everything else I have in the promo packs and such, so I have at least some of them. But I would like to pull the three cards that aren't in the promo packs that are at the rare quality so I can actually play those cards. If that makes sense. Urzmog, Urseer, Ignectar, Warmite, Sluggle, Astrabbit, Scavagem, Spinef. Oh no, this better not be another Spinef Egg box. I've already gotten enough of them. <laughs> I have so many Spinef Egg now. It's worth Smite, actually. My Twitter after the notification name to X, but my non home any. Yeah, they've been rolling out the X updates recently. It's a little weird. Alright, next pack. Necroff, Earth Scout, Urzmog, Urseer, Ignectar, Chrysor. Carry on, that's my third carry on. I needed that. Peliquarius. And we were just talking about Leonite. Oh. <laughs> This is a box, guys. This is a box. This is the box I needed. It's only box number two. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. The luck has arrived. These are exactly the cards I need to pull, except for Spinosect. It's not that I don't like Spinosect. It's that I have enough of him already. We're going for hollow number five in a row. Island. Drops. Golden Apple, Charon Zobel, Helios Chariot, Titanostock, Lazarus. I need Waspire. That's my first Waspire. Panda. Oh my. This is just the box that I need. This is literally just the box I need. I'm trying to get three of everything. So I don't need the Spinosex, but now I have three Hollow Spinosex. I don't. Like, I'll take three Hollow Spinosex. I don't need, want any more or need any more than three Hollow Spinosex. We're starting a Jenga Tower. Alright. Next pack. We're going for Hollow Six in a row. Starting with the Golden Apple, Charon Zobel, Helios Chariot, Foley Forest, Atlantis, Spinnymph. Sakurasaur, Barabog, another Full Art Stratomoth. So that's a duplicate of Full Arts. I don't want duplicate Full Arts. I'm trying to go for a set completion, but I'll take it. I can always trade that for somebody else's Full Art. Not the end of the world. Uh, my first box was uh, <laughs> a Full Art. I mean, maybe I should just play Stratomoth. I'll go collect a bunch of uh, prototype celebration Nimbugs and then pester Dan to make a special Syracuse art and then just play casual blinged out decks. I play Stratomoth the rest of my life. It's an option. I just don't really play wind. <laughs> but the rest of this box has been so nice to me so far. Let's keep going. Drops Elite, Golden Apple, Charm's Oval, Helios Chariot, Galaxy, Boombat. Like Vault, that's my third Like Vault. Nectar of the Gods. That's my second foil Nectar of the Gods. Take those. I'm literally just opening up a box of hollows right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven hollows so far in eight packs. So we're gonna have like nothing the rest of the box. <laughs> Starting with a Wurtzmite. Krakid, Sluggle, Typhlant, Smoltuga, Scythe Demeter, Earthquake, Foamy, 
And there's a second Leonite. We're just literally. I just, just, I should just stop streaming right now. The, the, the pack's over. <laughs> Got all the hollows. We're done. <laughs> well, maybe this is just a box of hollows. Maybe this is the end of the line. They're like, oh, we have all these extra hollows. Let's just throw them in a box. <laughs> See what we get next. Pegust, Sorlet, Foley Forest, Volcanic Forge, Atlantis. There's Boss Power number two, Kinleo. Cinder number three for me, and a Mustation number three for me. I don't know where to put my regular rares. I think I'm gonna put my Tectoras back in the pile. Whoops, I'll dig it out later. Yeah, there's still a Hollow Spirit somewhere in the box. Hopefully. I mean, it could have an error box. You never know. All right, next pack, we got our Jataya Boy, Rumagem, Clovey, Necroff, Erskout, Refuse, Sparkit, Dignectric, and a Spider Sect. All right, guys, stream's over. I'm destroying this box. We have to burn it to the ground. <laughs> Spina Sect. Hey, Minasaur, welcome to the stream. What's up? We're pulling Spina Sect along with everything else I need, so <laughs> pros cons to this box. At least I'm not wind cursed today. Rataka, Tadpuff, Ampup, Elichick, Quackle, Syracoon, Rysor, Carrion, Volcaries. Next up, Sluggle, Typhlant, Foley Forest, Volcanic Forge, Atlantis, Sakurasaur, Barbog, Titanostock, Imperial. I've gotten a lot of Imperials in my other box. I think I have three Imperials for my first box. So I'm definitely uh definitely a little overboard on the uh on those. But no big deal. Hit so far, yes, hit so far. We'll put that back to the side. Catch you up. So we got Panda, Leonite, Nog. Unfortunately, two Spinosex. Two Leonites. Amphirix, Stratomoth, Full Art, and an Aphros. So that's what we got so far. I sleeve after I do the box. <laughs> Hey Mula, what's up? What's up? Red Knight, hello, hello. Next pack got Elichick, Coacle, Jolton, Nimbug, Egust, Sakurasaur, Barabog, Titanostock, and a Tectorus again. It's my second moth though. I, I, I don't hate the moth, but I'm trying to get all the full arts in general. And I was gonna use my, you know, extra full arts and sellers to trade, but I don't know how many people are going to want this Stratomoth full art. Uh, I also would like to get some hollow Stratomoths without the full arts, just so I can use those to play. I don't know what if I want to play the full arts. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. Maybe I do keep all this the Stratomoth full, full arts just to play. Moltuga, Rattaqua, Empa, Elichik, Quackle, Chakurasaur, Barabog, Titanostock, and got a bolt. Got a bolt, unfortunately, probably the worst two drop in the game, but he is a pretty cool card. Like the art that they dropped on Twitter for Gatabolt recently was insane. It looks so good. Like actually it's beautiful. Volcanic Forge. I have I don't think I've pulled a Jeff Lantis yet. Went to Olympus, Island, Drops, Hammer, Eruption, Bag of Winds. Capricol. It's only my second Capricol. We take those. So we have a. I mean, this is a way better distribution of a box than my last box. My last box was just like so many win cards. Right, Meta? Like that Twitter art is just it's so beautiful. Volcanic Forge, Atlantis, Mount Olympus, Island of Aeolia, Drops Elite. Refuse, Spark It, Signectric, 
Majursa. I do only have one Majursa. I don't know if I'm going to play it, but I would like to get three, so that's okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're looking for two more hollows and a spirit. Yeah, Circle of Sky V3 is my favorite Circle of Sky art. It is so nice. Like the uh, Flurmine and uh, uh, Flurmine and the Wind Spirit, right? Ivory. I needed Ivory. Hey, there's the Javelantis, finally. Lycoris. Yeah, that's his Zephrog, the third Zephrog. Exaltair. That's my first Exaltair from a booster box. I will take that. I've only had my Exaltair from my starter deck. AKG, how's it going? Hello, hello. I hope your flight was all good and all that jazz. Yeah, V2 is nice and underneath the playmat right now, but it is what it is. Next pack, we got Tadpuff, Amp Up, Elechick, Coackle, Jolton, Lycavolt, Drifuse, Spark It, Flarachne. That's like my fifth Flarachne. KG, link us some more stuff. We're sure for the sky V4. Let's see it. Tell everyone in chat what FF means. Since I don't want to get in trouble, you can go get in trouble, please. Ted Puff, Ampa, Elechick, Coacle, Jolton, Harion, Peliquarius, Scythe, Equilinx. I'll take Equilinx. Great card. I cannot confirm nor deny what I have seen. We got Sluggle, Typhlant, Veritaqua, Tadpuff, Ampup, Lycavolt, Hammerfestus, Eruption, Glidesdale. Again, we are not ripping any more Glidesdale. I have already sacrificed two of them. One for Science and one for Ritual. V4 is definitely going to be the last two spirits. And then V5 is like, I would hope they do like a V5 that's literally all of them in one circle. I think that would be super cool. Uh, and Giovanni, I think, is the guy who's doing all the art for them. They're amazing. So, like, if Giovanni can do a uh, circle of sky with all eight spirits, when we get all eight spirits, it'd be amazing. I'd love to see that. Oh, and there's a door opening. Happy, say hi to stream. Hold on. We pause in packs. We're about two thirds of the way through a box, but my dog just walked in, so obviously he has to say hi to stream. Everyone say hello to Peppy. Peppy's the cutest dog. He's the most stellar dog ever, right? All right, Peppy, you can go back to doing your thing. I rudely interrupted him walking in. <laughs> Peppy's great for engagement, guys. Like, literally, I, I had him, <laughs> I did a, a funny opening video with him or an opening intro to a video with him, and like my engagement, I had so many comments, just doggo. <laughs> so I just need to, I use him for engagement. <laughs> Am I a bad owner? Nah. Charon Zobel, Illustrate Ride, Jotaya, Rummagem, Clovey, Shield, take those, Scavagem, Spinif, and thank you! That's Lodagon number two. I'm a fruit player, and I've only pulled one Lodagon in an entire box so far. We still need some light and dark spirits and frost stuff, right? We gotta get those combos first. I hope I want the grand display of everything. Yeah, we still, so we know what frost spirit is. It's Flurmine, which is an ermine, which is kind of like a stoat, which is kind of like a squirrel. Um, and it's mixed with Lycoris for V3. And then V4 will probably be whatever the last two spirits are. And I want a V5 with all the spirits. It would be so good. Flurmine, Flurmine, I don't know how to pronounce card names. Right, like this is Mount Olipoli, Island of Aeolus, Drops of Lathuti, Golden Apple of Discordi, Charoon's Ubul, Blazurus, Wasper, Kindlio, and Glidsdil. Right, that's how we pronounce our cards. It's a Glidesdale pack. That is three Glidesdale. That's put me at four non-sacrifice Glidesdale, so I now have a complete collection plus playset. That's good. I have sacrificed Glidesdales already. 
I sacrifice Glidesdale for my Hydrax Stellar, so we're good on that. Tad Poof, Amp Up, Electric, Quackle, Jolton, Aramare, Syracuse, Chrysor, and another Glidesdale. I'm turning into a no brainer here with all the Glidesdale in this box. Stellar Circle of the Sky would be interesting. <laughs> Minnesota. Yeah, I'm a New Yorker. We we out here in New York. Such a generic accent that no one ever actually speaks in in New York. <laughs> Unless you maybe go into the city. Ampha, Elichik, Boacko, Jolton, Nimbug, Cinder, Glauby, Foamy, Falacane. That is my first Falacane. I will take that, but I am wind cursed yet again. Yeah, it sold for $430 on eBay. That Stellar Exaltair is beautiful. Uh, I wonder if... I mean, I do know Exaltair is pretty popular. I'm curious to see if that's going to be kind of the standard price for Stellar. For the... We're going to pause again quick. Let me pull out... Uh, there's my Sacrifice Glidesdale. For you guys asking. There's my Destroyed Glidesdale for science. Video on that hopefully tomorrow. Um, but the going rate for this Pandasin, this thing started at like 800 on uh, uh, eBay. Like the first one sold for like 800, one sold for like 700, one sold for like 850, I think. And then the most recent one sold for like 380. So it looks like the Stellars and these limited cards are going for about three to $400, which is interesting. Oh, we are not showing the Halloween Panda limp tops. I will never do that. I don't think any of the sellers except maybe Pantera is worth a thousand. Uh, I know that some people are like, oh, Pantera is going to be worth like ten thousand dollars. No, like if you look at the prices of other TCGs, even established TCGs, cards never get that crazy unless there's something super unique about them, like they're twenty-five years old, so on and so forth. So, hey, Kui. Those are my pulls so far on the bottom. So we got two Leonites, Stratomoth, Nectar, Panda, Afros, Emphrix, two Spinosex. And I've gotten a lot of good rares for my uh, collection that I need. I got my first Falcane today. I got my second Capricorn. So it's a good box so far. Oh, I just opened a pack and I have a pack in front of me to open. Oh well. <laughs> Atlantis, Mount Olympus, Island of Aeolia, Drops of Leith, Golden Apple, Scavagem, Galaxy, Syracuse, Trifernal. Oh, I almost put it away. Lycoris Hollow. There's the spirit for the box. All these Hollow spirits are so pretty. They're going. I think I saw on eBay they're about twenty bucks a piece right now. I think that might be a little low, but that's fine. I mean, there are one in thirty-six for them. Top prototype Nimbug for ninety-nine the other day. Should have grabbed it. Yeah, the prototype Nimbugs are going for about. $80 for the Celebration Nimbug. Which, honestly, that's not a bad price, I think. Um, I'm so glad Dan did a Celebration Hydrake. He's got to do all the Celebration one-drop win cards now, though. <laughs> Just go down the line with Celebration cards. Warmite, Cracked, Sluggle, Typhlant, Smaltuga, Javelantis, Zephrog, Galaxy, Mustation. That is the last Mustation I need. $8, I have two of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the Celebration Nimbugs, they're, they're pretty cool because if you're playing casually, you can play them in your deck casually, and they're a super fun thing to bling your deck out with because they're the only foil Nimbugs that are printed. Necroff, Urscout, Urzmong, Urseer, Ignectar, Galaxy, Boombat, Zephrog, Ladaga number three, so I can actually build a fruit deck now. Cart boy, yo! Is that enough yo's? How's it going? How's it going today? I actually emptied my trash out before I did this, so I have a manageable trash situation today. It's great. Nimbug, but evil. Pegust. Sorlet. Holy Forest. Volcanic Forge, Bag of Winds, Scythe of Demeter, Earthquake, Aphoros number two. 
Oh man, the hollow patterns in these cards are so pretty. Um, is Boombat the only alt art in the starter deck? I want to say there's one other one, but I can't put my finger on it. I know there's twenty or 121 functionally unique cards in set one. And I know there's 129 usable cards in the app right now, including Bob and Flurmy. So I want to say there's at least two other alt arts, but I could be incorrect there. Um, I, just, I, I just can't think of it off the top of my head if there are any. I, I could just be wrong. I want to say there's more than just Boombat Alt Art in the uh, packs versus the box, but I, I'm probably wrong there. There's probably is just Boombat. Jolton, Nimbug, Pegast, Sorlet, Typhlant, Zephrog, Galaxy, Boombat, Mergersa. Because they had two arts that they really liked, so <laughs> they decided to put an Alt Art in the starter deck. It is random, but hey, it's something. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have one more hollow in these packs. Ideally. Not guaranteed, but ideally we have one more hollow in these packs. Alright. Necruff, Earth Scout, Sluggle, Tadpuff, Jolton, Glauby, Foamy, Ivory, and Tectorus. Plenty of those. Nothing wrong with that. What are you doing, Pep? My dog's just standing in the middle of the room staring. <laughs> he's like, what is he doing? Oh, you can see his head right there for a moment. My favorite Elestral. That's a tough question. So obviously I really like Warmite and Terratlas. They are my channel like profile mascots right now. I do really like Sonicore. I really like Panacin. I really like the fruit stuff. If I had to pick my favorite like card is probably Full Art Scent Arbor. But it's hard to say what my favorite card is. No enemies, let's see a big hit. After 11 boxes, never had more or less than 13 pulls. Yeah, I'd never, like Darkwing, the same thing with uh, what I've seen for most people, but there are some people that got eight hollows in a box and one guy got like 14 or 15. So we'll see how uh, things go. Jataya, Rumajem, Clovey, Necruff, Urshgout, Kinleo, Cinder, Globy. Afros, that's probably the last hit of the box, but you never know if we have a stellar. Though I'm pretty sure Brainer said from his uh, research that stellars only take place of the hollows. So, probably not getting a stellar. Alright. Third to last pack, I think. Helios Chariot Ride. Dortaya. Rumajem. Lovi, Necruff, Earthquake, Ginleo, Cinder, Equilinx. I don't know what I'm... I'm definitely opening three boxes today. And then I'm left with two boxes that I don't know if I want to save or open. I, I don't know what I want to do with them. But I'll figure something out. I just need to make sure that I get my play sets of cards that I want play sets of. Which we're on a good track of that for right now. I need one more Leonite. I need two more Amphirix. And I need Rise from Altar and some Shadow Moths. I got six boxes total, Molo. Elestral Shaft would be interesting, but it'd be a little iffy with the pack distribution. Drops, Golden Apple, Charnoble, Helios Sherite, Kinleo, Cinder, Globy, Mustation. I would I think I'm gonna wait to do Elestral's draft stuff until first edition, just because the collation's a little wonky. Uh, I wouldn't want someone to just like, oh, here's the bear pack and pull one bear and then pull the next bear and then pull the next bear. All right. Nimbug, last pack. Pegust, Zorlet, Folded Forest, Volcanic Forge, Javlantis, Zephra, Galaxy, and Equilinx. Of all five decks, all five blisters, and three boost boxes have my way. I think I have the odds of getting a full play set. So, the minimum amount of boxes you would technically have to open for a full playset of every card, excluding Founder promo packs and the like, is four and a half boxes. If with perfect perfect distribution. If you have, you know, 
your blisters, the starter decks, etc., that number is way lower. But that's talking perfect distribution, which we know isn't the case in set one, or at least for Kickstarter. So your odds are okay, but unlikely to get full play sets. But if you get some good rares, you can uh, just go to the buy sell trade server and uh, trade for them, basically. I appreciate the offer, Darkwing. I'm gonna basically, once I'm done with this stream today, I'm gonna inventory everything, see what I have. And I'm putting all of my cards in this orange sleeve. And I have 100 sleeve spirits in blue in this sleeve. So what I'm literally gonna do is I'm gonna take three of every functional card and put them in the orange sleeve and basically 20 of every spirit, put them in the blue sleeve, put them all in one box together. And I'll be able to make any deck I want on the fly. That is my ultimate goal right now, is just being able to put together a box that has every card functionally unique in it so I can play the game exactly how I want to whenever I want, for set one at the very least. Yeah, it is a trading game, card game after all. And I will say, people have been trading a lot in the buy sell trade server. Like, because a lot of the times with uh, established TCGs with markets and all that jazz, you just go to a second party seller, they'll buy the card from you for maybe 40, maybe 50% value, and then you go buy whatever cards you need because there's no real source for cards yet except for eBay and the players who actually open the boxes. There's a lot of trading going on actually. And the best trade fodder right now is probably Alter of the Stars and M Ferrix because people like those cards, they want those cards, and there's no other printings of those cards in the game yet. So we'll see what happens with those. All right, so let's go over this box real fast. We got three Afros, there's our foil playset. We got two Leonites, Nectar the Gods, Panda, two Spinos, Stratomoth, Full Art, Lycoris, and an Amphirix. One box had two Alter Stars, pretty clutch, yeah. And a lot of decks don't need more than two copies of most cards. Uh, Moxie pulled a Full Art Trifernal, and I forget what else. Things I have most of awesome. Yeah, Alter Stars is really good trade fodder for just uh, how good it is. Hey, Patrick Trainer, welcome back. How are you doing today? You missed the first box, but uh, we're going into two more boxes today, so. Oh, I think he did pull a Zeus, or at least, or was that? I watched so many box openings yesterday because uh, LUCK was opening packs. Moxie open packs. I don't remember who pulled what. <laughs> There's so much going on there. All right. There's a foil pile. There's a pile of rares, which we'll get to later. We'll sort through all the rares when we get to the end of the box. We ready for the next box? How long are we in? Are we in 40 minutes in? Not bad. Hephaestus. I would love to get a full art Hephaestus. Oh dang, sorry, lol. Also, you know what the best place is to buy cards? So the current best two places are eBay if you're lucky, but you'll be fighting for auctions. There's also an unofficial buy and sell trader, which if you ask in the Discord for, we're not gonna link it in the official Discord, but ask in the official Discord and somebody will DM you the link for it. So that is an option, Pat Rat Trainer. And the guys in the buy sell trainer are, I'm not gonna say everyone's necessarily trustworthy, yada, yada, yada. But I will say that it's run very well, and the people in there seem to generally have, for the most part, okay prices. Some people are a little high, some people are a little low, but that's up to them how they want to sell their cards. And no stellar pent. All right, get these cards out of the box. Yeah, Clove is a cute card. I love, like, Clovey is such a good card that is way overshadowed by how good Astrab it is. Um, <laughs> but Clovey is definitely, like, if you ever, if you watch any of our uh, ECL matches, when we did a little kind of uh, league with official cards and we played, I played Earth, Clovey was a star in some of those decks. Like, Clovey was so well. More days go by without people pulling Stellar Pent, the higher my confidence of pulling against. Yeah. I don't think people are gonna uh, be pulling Stellar Pent anytime soon. It's one in like a thousand chance. 
also been drinking way too much LaCroix. Um, it's cheap, don't mind me. All right, we cracked a can of water. Crack a pack now. Box number two, let's go. One in three million four hundred twenty thousand. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think it's that rare. the The guess estimates are about ten thousand boxes, so it's about a one in a thousand chance. All right. Someone pulled the God Pack. It's rare though. Yeah. So the God Pack, it is. There is only ten, but it's definitely going to be rare because there's ten thousand cases. There's maybe three hundred sixty thousand packs. So the God Packs are definitely rare. Which I'm surprised it got pulled first. Alright, Ur Scout, Urzmog, Urseer, Egg Nectar, Warmite, Chrysor, Carry On, first rare of the pack, Vulcaries. Add that to the rare file. And start a new Tower of Jenga. All right, <laughs> one and over no chance, my chance. That is for sure the case for everybody. Earth Scout, Urzmog, Urseer, Ig Nectar, Drops, Spark It, Signetric, Ash Rabbit, Majesty. What do you use to hold your camera up, by the way, for pack opening? Uh, I have this weird bendy arm thing. Um, did I not send you a picture of my setup, Mula? I thought I did. I'll have to send it to you later. Um, remind me. God packs and Cellar Pen are both only 10 in existence, yeah. But the God packs are a little bit rare because there's way more blisters to open. Maybe it's another manufacturer and there's no Cellar Pentera. Maybe all the Cellar Penteras are in one booster pack in a box somewhere and not on the box topper. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. All right, next box. Yeah, my camera's actually being held up by Helen. She's right up there. She's just holding the camera. She's got really good grip strength. She's doing a good job. <laughs> Quackle, Jolton, Nimbug, Piga, Sorlet, Cinder, Glauby, Earthquake, Trifernal. So the God Pack was four full arts, four hollows, and two stellars, I believe. It was four um, full art gods, four hollows. Or was it eight full arts? I don't remember. There's so it was just like full arts and sellers basically. There's more blisters than there are boxes that would make pen rare. Well, there's more blisters and there's only the same so if there's ten blisters that have or ten booster packs that have a god pack. They're not just in blisters, they're in any of these packs would be a god pack, so it's super rare. How many boxes will be kept sealed? Uh, probably a decent amount, but I don't think a ton, a ton of boxes are going to stay sealed. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Stellar Exalter wasn't Secret Stellar, it was the blank card. I would love to have gotten a blank card, but they're only in the starter deck so far that we found. There's a blank white card with this uh, Luscious pack would be so much fun to just mess around with, to make a token with. Starter deck boxes are way smaller than I thought. They're pretty large, actually. The 36 packs, and they're they're hefty. They look really small on camera because their dimensions are weird, but the boxes are, like, this is a big box. Like, it's hard to see the dimensions, but, like, the box is chunky. <laughs> All right, next back. No hollows yet in this box. Urzmog, Urseer, Ignectar, Warmite, Cracket, Tsunami, Thunderbolt, Thunderstorm, Ambrosia. I will always whoop, sorry. I will always take the Ambrosia. Ambrosia is a lovely card. As long as I don't get too many Ambrosias. Um I think I I think I pulled one foil Ambrosia last time. I'd have to double check that. <clears throat> oh, the Star Deck boxes are smaller. Yeah, they are smaller. Sorry. Alright. Next pack, Tithelands, Maltuga, Galaxy, Boombat, Lycavolt, Gettabolt. Ignacio is even my favorite Lestral. I want to make a really stupid deck. Where it's Ignectar and Bob and a bunch of artifacts and just 
the idea is to either play Bob with a bunch of artifacts or play Ignectar and just give all the Ignectars a hammer of Hephaestus and make them all six attackers. I think that'd be hilarious. I don't know if it'd be any good, but it'd be hilarious. It's it, it's pronounced Bob Limtops, get it right? Golden Apple, Charn's Oval, Helios Shareride, Elichick, Quackle, Aramare, Syracuse, Chrysor, Capricol. I will take the Capricol. I registered it. It doesn't seem to have updated yet. So I'm going to have to double check with uh, the team there to see if they want to, if it's updated or not. Uh, but I did, I did go to register it. Alright. Drataya, Rumajam, Clovey, Necruff, Earthscout, Aramare, Syracuse, Chrysor, Krakatuka. No hollows yet. Maybe start pulling from the left file. Anything good so far? Yeah, I've gotten uh, another full art shadow moth, which I'm a little eh about. Uh, I got Leonite, I got Empherix, I got three Afros, so I'm done with my Afros. I got some more Spine Attacks, unfortunately. Uh, Ignector Quackle, that's an interesting combination. I'd like to see how that goes. Yeah, they've definitely updated, but they might not have got caught up. But in worst case scenario, I'll try to register it again. Do you know what the pack thickness is compared to Pokemon pack? I want to keep a Pantera pack sealed, but I don't know what sleeves to use. Um, the pack thickness? Or do you, are you talking pack thickness or card thickness? Because the cards will fit in a standard sleeve. Uh, if you're talking about a pen Oh, you're talking about this pack that like talking about putting this uh this will fit in a top loader if you're talking about the plastic plus this in general box has been crazy to see before the good stuff pretty much i mean my first box was crazy off the start so this is the lull in between oh is that an upside down pack or did i just pick up the pack upside down we'll find out in a second nimbug Egust, sorlet fully forest carry on peliquarius scythe demeter another krakatuga back-to-back -back krakatugas Next up, oh sorry, I missed the conversation, Cow. Yeah, I got a seller hydrate the other day. Um, well, let me show up my seller quick. I got to move uh, some stuff out of the way to grab it from my desk. So yeah, I pulled the seller hydrate from Pantera box yesterday or two days ago. Number ninety-five, the sealed booster pack. Yeah, the sealed booster packs—they're about the same. Thickness is most cards. Like in 10 cards, you're not going to see too much issue with how thick they are. So, if you have some kind of packs like sealer or whatnot, the pack should should seal pretty much well. The booster box, though, because you're adding so many cards with slightly more thickness to them, the booster boxes are not going to fit in a regular booster box case from like Pokemon and stuff. Which A Drive has said that they're working on getting some acrylic cases to order for booster box storage. Elichick, Atlantis, Mount Olympus, Island Oleg, Glauby, Foamy, Ivory, Imperial. Still no, just just the Ambrosia so far. This box is teasing me to the end. Getting my Stellar Quackle graded. Oh, you got a Stellar Quackle. In Very nice. I don't know if I want to grade cards. Maybe I'll grade some cards, but I just, the thought of sending it in the mail and waiting for it to come back after like, a few weeks is just it's it's scary to me took all the hollows why would you take all the hollows out of my box helen that's so rude Pelquarius, scythe demeter and a glidesdale no shot futuramas in fortnite everything's in fortnite now it's becoming like the smash brothers of uh, third person shooters I'd want a greatest Stellar, I doubt I want to play with it anyways. I would love to be playing with the Stellar just for the fun, but it would be like, people would give you a lot of eyes, like why are you playing with that card? Luscious Clap for Fortnite, that'd be hilarious, Mula. Tad Buff, Amp Up, Elichick, Coacle, Boom Bat, Lycavolt, Griffuse. I will take another Falcane. We need those. I was thinking about making a new reanimator deck with Falcane as one of the reanimator targets because I think Falcane would be a really good target to rise from the ashes. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you pull up Pantera, yeah, I see 
hundred percent why someone would grade a Pentair. But still, sending a card that's like thousands of dollars in the mail to a grading company just scary. I don't want to get lost in the mail. Smoltuga, Vertaqua, Tadpuff, Ampuff, Dratia, Shield of Gilly, Gavjam, Earthquake, Majursa. You got one deck at the first down in the US. That is so hype. You see, one guy got three stellars and five starter decks? Like, those odds are crazy. See, that's the thing, Nephthys. Like, I'm so curious how, if you guys saw the one ring for Magic the Gathering, what did that guy do to get it graded? Did he, like, call up, um, was it Beckett that graded it? And he was like, hey, I pulled the card. I need you guys to grade it. Like, and then he flew over to get it graded. I don't know. Like, that's insane to figure that out. Nimbug, Pegas, Sorlet, Foley Force, Volcanic Forge, Bag of Winds, Tornado, Necklace of Harmonia. Are you kidding me? Three Full Art Stratomoths? Three? I'm not getting anything else? <laughs> oh man. I guess I'm playing Stratomoth with three Full Arts. <laughs> man. Yeah, Helen, when you open up your stuff, we'll trade full arts, I guess. Like, oh, man. Wind loves me. I guess it does. I really want to go for a full set with one of each card, so pulling three of the same full art out of my boxes is, uh, it's a little feels bad. It's cool to have three of the same one at the same time, but at the same time, I wanted variants. <laughs> Organic Forge, Atlantis, Eruption, Trident Poseidon, Tsunami, Imperial... Leviathan Hollow, back to back Hollow and Full Arts. At least my distribution on the Hollow Spirits has been good so far. Because uh, I have a Leviathan, I have a Teratlas, and I have a Lycoris right now. So, alright, so the box is season. We're halfway through the box almost. I'm getting stuff now. Yeah. <sighs> This is, I think, like, Teratlas is probably my favorite, but then this is probably my second favorite Hollow Spirit. Like, it's just a really pretty card. Make Full Art Moth a thumbnail. I might have to. If I do another sh opening stream, it's going to have to be the thumbnail. Spirits are the one that I definitely want duplicates of, though. Yeah, I don't know if, because Spirits are Spirits and they're going to be super cheap to get just bulk Spirits, it's going to make the Hollow Spirits, even though they're as rare as the Full Arts, really cheap. Or was gonna mean that the Hollow Spirits are expensive because people need twenty of the same one. I don't know. I mean, I saw one of these guys go on eBay for twenty bucks last night, so that's a decent start for the price. Absolute favorite, such pretty card. The Hollow Foil makes background look so pretty. Yeah, the Hollow Foil on it's beautiful. All right, next pack. Atlantis, Mount Olympus, Island of Aeolia, Drops of Leith, Golden Apple Discord, Lauby, Foamy. Ash Rabbit, Rise from the Ashes, another one I need three of. This is probably also one of my other favorite foils. Just the foil Emphrix behind the uh, the Nimbug behind there. Very pretty. 322 subs, she got 21. I mean, I have been doing Elestial's content for almost a year now. With like 170 videos, so <laughs> it's, be get, it's getting there. Are they going to have a pack just of spirits to buy? Do we know? So I have talked to Dan about that personally multiple times, and the answer is yes, eventually, but we don't know when, because he was thinking about doing a bundle and having the bundle have a spirit pack in it, similar to how Pokemon does their spirit packs and the like. What exactly that would entail is not determined yet. I don't know. I mean, he's probably just focusing on set two and uh, set one or first edition production right now, but I have talked to him a little bit about it. And we'll see what he decides in the end. But I would personally like to see a bundle. Uh, just maybe 10 of each spirit. Perhaps something like that. Or just 50 randomized spirits. Ursir, Urgnar, yeah, I can't speak. Sluggle, Typhlant, Lycavolt. Oh, we see a foil coming up. Griffue, Spark It, Sonicore. This is the box, guys. This is the box. The Stratomoth is teasing me, but this is the box. 
I think all the best full arts were in promo, don't get me wrong, they're all amazing, but cracking Viserys vault look gorgeous. They really do. I love the cracking attacking the boat. Pretty cool to be able to say you've known about a game since day one. Yeah, it's it's very fun to say that. I was also as far as I'm concerned, or as, as I know, I am the first person outside of the people who actually made Elestrals to have played the game because I made the TTS mod like after Dan announced the starter decks and played a game that night with it. So I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to play Elestrals outside of Dan and Steve and whoever else you played with in the prototype phase. Best full arts, Sonicor, Demeter, Centaur, Majesty, Viserys, Cracking. Very solid full arts. GTS mod was under. I actually I haven't looked at the stats on it for a while, but it was getting close to a thousand uh, uh, downloads on it at one point. I don't know what it is at now because it adjusts. Nimbug, Piga, Sorlet, Foley Force, Atlantis, Ivory, Javlantis, Zephrog, Sonicor number two. We're getting a play set of Sonicor in this box, lads. We are getting a play set of Sonicor in this box, and then we're going home. <laughs> oh. I'm already home. Scratch that. We're going to place a Sonic Core in this box. Maybe we'll get five Sonic Core in the box and I have extra trade fodder. But I would prefer to get that one more Leonite I need for that playset. Roma Gem, Clovey, Necruff, Urscout, Urzmog, Waspire, Kidleo, Earthquake. I told you! I told you! Yo, Omega Side, how's it going? I'm upset that, that didn't pull even one Viserys. Yeah, I've got two Viserys so far, so hopefully I get the rest, but worst case scenario, I do have Founders Pack Viserys. I've been following this channel since the beginning of the last show, I think definitely before Kickstarter at least. Oh, thanks, Patrick. I appreciate that. I really appreciate some of you that stuck around and watched my show. There was, a, there was a period of time for like two weeks where I was losing and getting subscribers at the same rate. It was so, so... Hey, what'd you miss, Sluck? Welcome, welcome. I pulled two Full Art Stratomoths so far today. I have a playset of Full Art Stratomoths. And it's also a card you don't need a playset of to play the deck. <laughs> uh, I just pulled a playset of Sonicor. I got a playset of Aphros. One Rise from the Ashes. No Altar yet. I got two Leonites. One Amphiric. So I'm getting there with the cards I need. But uh, it's looking like I'm going to be needing Altars at the end of this. All right, next back, Necruff, Urscout, Urzmog, Urseer, Ignectar, Earthquake, Syracuse, Chrysor, Ambrosia number two. I mean, it was just me. I mean, there was Johnny in there, Eagle the Duck made some stuff, Red Baron. Basically, if you go to my channel right now, you go to my channel, you go to the channels page on my channels, and just go subscribe to everybody there. That is all the people that have been making content for this game for almost as long as I have, if not slightly long. I think Johnny beat me by one day in his first video. So go subscribe to all those guys. Just literally go to my channel, go to channels. You'll see a bunch of people there. Subscribe to all of them. I promise you can't go wrong. All right, P-Gust, Sorlet, Urscout, Urzmog, Urseer, Shield of Achilles, Scavagem, Spy Nymph, Hey, Hollow Stratum Moth. I will take the Hollow Stratum Moth for the collection. Even though I have full art Stratum Moth for days. Oh, I didn't even mention Moxie. Yeah, Moxie's also there. So everything Elestral is Moxie. He's another great channel to follow. He's got a slower update schedule, but he makes really good videos. I did need that Limb Top for the fourth Moth because I am trying to go for one of every card. So, hey, Stratum Moth will work. All right, man, so I have fun recording. I'll see you on the next one, or around. I mean, you're always around, I'm always around. See, see you when I see you. All right, next pack. Helioshayrad, Jotaya, Rumagem, Clovey, Necruff, Griffius, Sparkit, Signectric, Aphros. Ah, I'm okay with the Aphros. I got a lot of them now, but eh, it's what it is. So how many hollows we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we potentially have two more hollows in this pack, give or take. We're halfway through the pack now, though. Oh, through the box. Arachid, Luggle, Nimbug, Pegas, Sorlet, Galaxy, Boombat, Lycavolt, and a Glidesdale. Yeah. 
The opening's going great, Tyler. Thanks for coming in. We are, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on your definition, I have three Fall Out Stratomoths now. Yeah, the hollow count's pretty much holding up exactly as expected with ten, ten hollows, one hollow spirit, one Fall Out so far. Which, I actually, I kind of like that. Like, it's, it's nice to have some variation. But it's also really nice to know you're guaranteed a full art in a box, guaranteed a hollow spear in a box. Like, that's a nice guarantee to have. Antonio Stella, uh, okay, hello, hello. Multuga, Vertaqua, Tadpuff, Hammer, Eruption, Trident, Lotagon. That is Lotagon number four. I now have one for the binder and three for the deck. And then I have all the ones in the Founders packs and the artist collections and whatnot. So I have a lot of Lotagon, but that's fine. I do like playing fruit decks. Maybe at the end of the stream we'll put together a fruit deck since I actually have the cards I need for it now. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Alright, got Clovey, Necroff, Urscout, Urzmog, Urseer, Astrabbit, Aramair, Syracune, Lotagon. Alright, I'm good with the Lotagons though now. Oh, Pokeshift 23, okay, gotcha. See, why don't you guys just name all your stuff the same? I have used words for everything for, for so long. Did I ever get to work on a card design? I can't say if I have been allowed to... I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about card design, unfortunately. I have some NDAs with Dan because I have been play set for set two. Um, I gotta talk to him about that. So I'll get back to that question one day, for stuff. You just stay waiting. Uh, Legend of Zelda, I'm Legend of Zelda Discord since... Ah! Legend of Zelda, I would have never guessed. I thought you were an imposter and just making like up stuff, pretending to be the guy from Discord. Nice to see that your limb tops. Ampup, Elichick, Quackle, Jolton, Nimbug, Tsunami, Thunderbolt of Zeus, Thunderstorm, Tectorus. But yeah, I will I will say, which I'm I, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say this because it's arbitrary. The set two uh like testers, we have a really, really fun, diverse group of people playing set two. To make sure it's fine from like super competitive players to like players playing the game for just fun and janky stuff so it's a really nice mix of people that really helps balance out what we feel about the set it's going to be great when you guys see it curious how the randomization will be with the new manufacturer yeah so part of the issue with the randomization as well is we're looking at like 29 commons and there's only five common slots so you're going to see a lot of stadiums and commons regardless of whether or not the randomization is better or not I understand why people feel bad about seeing all the stadiums back to back. It makes you feel like you might have missed something better or different. Um, but the real core of it is those uncommon slots are like the hard hunts for non rare stuff. Because the uncommons, there's three uncommons in a pack, and there's 38 uncommons total. So your odds of seeing all the uncommons is actually pretty low. But it is what it is. It is hopefully it will be better soon. Dead Puff, Amp Puff, Elegic, Wackle, Jolton. Rysor, Carrion, Peliquarius, Tectorus. Bam. There's more uncommon than commons? Yes, there are more uncommon than commons. Uh, it's crazy to think that, but yeah, there's, there's a chunk more uncommon than commons. And then there's 16 rare and 17 hollow rare, 13 full art. Um, but honestly, like... You're gonna have common fodder anyway. At least your common fodder is easier to sort when there's less commons to sort. So that's one thing. The ghost, Sorlet, Foley Force, Volcanic Forge, Atlantis, Bag of Winds, Tornado, Necklace, Equilinx. Are you able to say if any cards from set one are being reprinted in set two that you know of? I'm not allowed to say that, unfortunately. Um, I will say from what's public is if you watched the short from the Elestrals channel yesterday, they did show Gorgon's Gaze, Ambrosia, Nectar of the Gods, uh, two other cards. Take a look at that video. You can see, like, what are some of the cards that Dan's looking at reprinting in set two because that's what the short was about. So go watch that short and you'll get some information there. Krakid, Sluggle, Typhlant, Drataya, Ramagem, Barabog, Titanostock, Lazarus, Majersa. If there's 
if there are more uncommons and commons, would that make the commons and common and the uncommon commons? No, it just means you get more of the same commons. <laughs> and it makes the uncommons rarer. So the uncommons are rare light and the commons are, I have way too many of these. Are there new stadiums in set two? I can't say if there are or not, but from a non-NDA perspective, you would assume that there's going to be a frost stadium. Like, you would assume that we're going to get stadiums for every element that match Volcanic Forge, Fully Force, etc. But other than that, I can't say anything. Bertaqua. Adpuff. Ampup. Elechik. Wackle. Lazarus. Waspire. Kinleo. Imperial. Or Crazy in and NDA have some <laughs> He's always watching. Contractually or physically. Bracket, Sluggle, Typhlant, Smaltuga, Bertaqua, Chrysor, Carrion, Peliquarius, Latagon. Just wondering if there's like a rainbow stadium would be cool. Um yeah, I mean stadiums are here's the thing, we have no like permanence in play besides the divine runes and artifacts and stadiums so if there's going to be any like continuous spell like adjacent card it's probably going to be a stadium of some sort how that would work when stadiums can remove stadiums little little weird but like it'd be cool to see a stadium that's like maybe 2x and it's like each player draws an additional card on their turns that'd be a fun stadium it'd be bad but it'd be fun I would like to see stadiums expanded to different kind of cards rather than just the plus one plus one. Frost God, Frost Stadium, Frost Weapon, Rune will all make sense to keep things even. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, Frost is going to have to catch up to the card pool size of the other elements. So that's a thing. Chad's trying to get me fired. I'm not even hired. This is just like, I like playing the game. So if I can play the game and make the game better, that's what I'm doing. Hey, we're just put yourself in front of a huge lawsuit and show us literally every card from set two. Hell yeah, let's start. Set two, you ready? All right, here's the first card in set two. Here's the next card in set two. Here's another card in set two. <laughs> we'll just play, I'll just show you all the set cards from set two upside down. Volcanic Forge, Atlantis, Mount Olympus, Island Aeolia, Dropsalith, Ash Travit, Aramare, Syracuse, Krakatuga. Also, if I leak anything that I can't say for NDA, guys, just so you know, Helen will literally disown me and call Dan and like turn me in faster than this stream will end. Like, I will be getting a call from Dan faster than, <laughs> than I can press the stream end button if I talk about anything in set two that I'm not allowed to talk about. So that's a thing. And also, most of you guys haven't even been playing... Like, the reason I'm excited for set two is because I've been playing set one for a year. Which, I'm still having fun with it, which is a great thing to know that, like, I'm playing this game for a year and I'm still having fun with it. But I would like to see something different to, like, really play with everybody and just mix it up a bunch. It'd be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Boreas Frost and Boreas Spear and Avalanche for set two runes. Those are cool names. Dan will call you before you finish my sentence. Yeah, the second one had amazing artwork. Wow. Yeah. Panic Forge, Atlantis, Mount Olympus, Island of Aeolia, Dropsalith, Zephyrog, Galaxy, Boom Bat, Florachne. In reality, we're really just a focus group. We're, we're Dan's focus group. And we've been Dan's focus group since the game came out, pretty much. Or, since he announced the game. Is the app in full beta yet? It's still in alpha because they were having trouble getting it on the Apple App Store because Apple is a pain in the butt. But it should be coming out sometime in the next week or so for everybody who backed. So be on the lookout for that. That's about all the information I have. Well, I thought you actually had a stack of set two cards. I don't. I don't, set 2 is not even printed yet. I don't even know if Dan has set 2 cards for uh, samples yet. Drops of Leith, Golden Apple Discord, Charnzobal, Syracuse, Chrysor, Carrion, and a Mustache. We're still looking for, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Two more hollows. So these last two packs should hopefully have a hollow in them, right? Luscious DB updated, wanted them somewhere to check the decklist. So the decklist and Luscious DB are fine. Just be aware that the cards themselves will be incorrect. So for example, Rummagem on Luscious DB still says it's a 4-4 when it's a 2-3 now. So the decklists are fine. 
just be aware that the cards on the images aren't correct. Alpha being a pain is double-edged sword because it plays so much garbage scam apps, but it makes it a lot harder for devs. Yeah, and also, the thing is, right, Apple asks you for like tens of thousands of dollars for the privilege of being on their app store, and then they take like 30-40% off every purchase on the app store on top of everything else. It's a little bit frustrating for developers. A lot of prototype cards that I have, like Misspelled Clovey from another print run that Dex released, I think. A Misspelled Clovey? That's hilarious if you have that. Warmite, Brackid, Sluggle, Typhlant, Smaltuga, Sparkit, Zignectric, Astrabbit, Aphoros. I'm going to have so many Aphros. Alright, and the last pack should be a hollow as well to keep this at the 10 and 1 and 1 ratio. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, Smoltuga, Veritaqua, Tadpuff, Ampup, Elichick, Galaxy, Kinleo, Thunderbolt, Stratomoth. Alright, so far the collection's going perfectly alright. I'm still looking for one more Leonite, one more Stratomoth, two Rise from the Ashes, and three Altar of the Stars. I need those cards for uh, play sets of cards. But uh, let's see where we go. Is it time? Is it time, Helen? So just having an app in the Apple Store is $100 a year. Well, it's $20 lifetime for Google Play Store. I didn't know they had a, an annual. This is the end of my second, or my third box total. Second box for the stream. Actually, I'm going to, one second. Let me go do something real quick. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get a little uh, exciting here for a second. Hopefully, they didn't break anything. I'm attempting to do a thing. We'll see if it happens in a second. See if they show up. Hopefully. Well, hello. Oh, there we go. You're a little loud on me there. Oh, geez. Okay. All right, that's better. That's better. Hello, everyone. Or, hello, Helen. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> hey, guys. Helen's in the call. Didn't realize it was one year for the Kickstarter tomorrow? Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost... It's almost getting there. It took me a second to get on there, because I had to make sure I muted the stream, so you wouldn't hear an echo. <laughs> Uh, they put the video game on hold for the time being, and they're going to focus on the production of the TCG, which I think is the best play for them to do, because that is the goal. Yeah, we're going to make a fruit deck with real cards eventually. Uh, Helen, entertain chat for a moment. I'm going to go get something to drink, because I'm almost out of drink. Oh, but let's just go back to the pack one last time. Got Stratomoths, two Stratomoths. We got one Ambrosia, two Ambrosia, four Stratomoths. Hollow Leviathan, Rise from the Ashes, three Sonicors for the playset, and two Afros for a little bit. Helen is my girlfriend, and she's also one of Dan's mods on uh, on Twitch and all that jazz, so be aware she can tattle on Dan if I do anything wrong this stream. She'll entertain you guys for just a moment while I be right back. I will say this, I'm not part of the NDA uh, and roundtable that Wartz is a part of. I'm just a mod for the server. I'm a mod for his streams. The only thing that I ever got early access to was when Dan was initially in the very early planning stages. He actually had asked all of us as mods in his primary server to kind of vote on what the spirits were going to be. More so he gave us a bunch of... Seltzer is my lifeblood. Of course Fortunately, it is. Unfortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> um, just to kind of finish right. off that sentence, he gave us an image of a bunch of different, essentially concept arts for the spirits and was like here vote on them 
So we voted, and I obviously, for the sake of we don't know if they're going to be right. reused again, can't show you those images. But yeah, that's literally the only time I've ever had access to any, like, early access stuff for Elestrals that you guys pretty much have not. And so Helen knows I play a lot of card games, and literally did not tell me about this until the like maybe an hour before the video dropped officially announcing it yep like can you guys believe that i play like every tcg known to man and my girlfriend knows this and she didn't drop <laughs> she didn't tell me anything until the day well, it dropped to be fair and I, I this is a legitimate fact like i do have dan's phone number and he probably would have just been like you're gone yes this is the girlfriend <laughs> if i said 